In a school context, a principal or a teacher has a higher status than a student. Miss Trunchbull here from Roald Dahl's Matilda is a very strict school principal. And whenever a student says or does anything she remotely dislikes, she might force feed them a giant chocolate cake or hammer throw them by the pigtails. She has a very despotic relationship with her students. On the other hand, the teacher, Miss Honey, also has a higher status than her students. But students feel very comfortable around her, disagreeing with her even. She has a very tolerant relationship with her students. These are examples of different dominant styles. We see different dominant styles in humans as well as other primate species. And by studying our closest relatives, apes, monkeys, and lemurs, we can begin to understand what it means to be human. I think that by studying dominant style, we can understand the evolution of complex communication systems and maybe even human language. Imagine you're the big boss of a monkey troop and you and your other monkey friends come across a big delicious piece of meat. Who gets to eat that meat? If you're despotic, it's simple, you do. You're the boss, no negotiation. Whereas if you're tolerant, it's not so simple. You may have to use more negotiation or persuasion. You probably have to use more communication. And if you're misunderstood, you're less likely to get a smack on the head than you would if you were in a despotic troop. In my research, I'm measuring the dominant style of almost 600 primates from observations of their everyday natural behavior in the wild, their aggression, their grooming, their feeding behavior. These represent 25 primate species, and each species already has a known language or repertoire of call types they use. So I expect that more tolerant individuals will call more frequently, and more tolerant species will have larger call repertoires. If indeed tolerance does drive the evolution of communication, this can help us to understand our own human story as well. Research tells us that for the majority of our evolutionary past, we were probably more like Miss Honey than Miss Trunchbull. So it could be that this allowed for the evolution of the most complex communication system, human language. We humans tend to forget that we are part of the animal kingdom, but we are just naked talking apes. Thank you.